and it's the first day of school after almost six months now of being in quarantine. I don't know what it feels like to be awake this early. I just thought we'd have a quick chat about all the feelings because I'm having all the feelings today. Let's go sit down. So deciding to send our kids to school was a decision that was not a very easy one. I don't know, I just like, there were so many things that were going through my head, like, is it healthy for them to not be in school? Should they be, you know, back with their friends? Should they be, here comes, good morning. Hello. Can you say hello? Hello. Good morning, did you sleep well? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so many things going through my head about whether or not to send them to school. Like, what about their education? Sure, I could homeschool them, but is it the best option for them? I thought about their friendships. I thought about the dynamic of our house. I thought, of course, of our ability to, to work and to be flexible. And then, of course, when I would think about any of those options that would involve me, I would feel immediately guilty. But should this not be about you at all, we said. Like, this should only be about the kids. But then what we really boiled down down to a lot after a lot of prayer and a lot of discernment was that like it, it, it's really about what's best for my family and that's like the entire family so that's me my husband these little ones the big kids and yeah just after a lot of prayer and a lot of discernment we just decided that the best option would be going back to school I did not feel confident about this decision until literally Friday so today is Monday so literally three days ago and that was when I took the kids through a quick tour. The school opened up and just said, come on in, meet your teacher. At our school, masks are required all day. And that was one of my big hesitations because I was like, oh my gosh, that's so uncomfortable. Is that really the best thing for me? Oh, James, do you have your mask? Yeah. Do you want to put it on? Okay. <laughs> Okay, This is John's? Yeah, it has wood on it. Oh, John wrote his name on it? Yeah. Here, do you want to try it on this way? Yeah. <laughs> do you like wearing a mask? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't see the letters. You don't see the letters? Yeah. Do you want to put the letters on the outside? <laughs> so as I was saying, my, my kids don't seem to have too much of a problem wearing masks, but of course they don't have to, they've not, never have to wear them all day long, so we'll see what happens. Another thing that I have found difficult to navigate is this whole notion that like, this is our new normal, or like, we'll never return back to the old normal, or like, is there no normal? Like, hey. Lunches are packed. Today in the lunches, we have an assortment of yummy things. We've got hot dogs. We've got little mini muffins. We've got cucumbers. We've got strawberries. I would like to find an alternative to using Ziploc bags, but I was not organized enough for that today. There we go. All right, and now I'm gonna go get myself ready to do school drop off. Mm, we really need to clean up this bathroom. <laughs> Getting out of hand. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to go. It's time to go. Who wants to say bye to Colleen? Bye, Colleen. Bye, Colleen. Bye, Colleen. Bye, Colleen. Hand sanitizer. Exciting. How's everybody feeling? How are you feeling, Evelyn? Pretty good. It's gonna be also exciting. Pretty scared. Of course. I think those are all normal feelings. Bye. You have a great day. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> hey, where are the kids? Kids. Mom. Where are all the kids? My mom. 
They're not here. It's so quiet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually incredibly shocked at my own response. <laughs> peaceful and happy I feel. So I'm going to take advantage of this surgence of energy and I'm gonna deep clean my main floor because oh boy, it's time. This is legit the longest in terms of like duration of time that I have seen my counter without like a cup of milk, another snack, an orange half peeled or a banana peel on it. Like this is just wild. All right, it's lunchtime. Here's a funny story. I made myself salmon and I made hot dogs for the kids and the kids only want the healthy salmon option. <laughs> I have to whip up some more salmon. Do you guys like your salmon? Yeah. Look at this, hot dogs rejected, all in favor of salmon. What about you, James? Hot dogs rejected. I don't do <laughs> mommy. What about you, Colleen? Do you like that little carrot? Oh, Colleen. Now, almost two o'clock, we are sort of kind of approaching school pickup. And I am honestly, like, I'm, I'm just surprised at my feelings around all of this. I am, um, I'm feeling guilty for enjoying this too much. I'm like loving the quiet. I'm loving that my house is like relatively clean. I'm loving that I'm able to get a lot of stuff done without a lot of distractions. And I'm feeling all kinds of guilty. So that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm feeling all kinds of guilty, but I'm trying to not because I also know that like, what we were living before was not a choice, so to speak. Like, I didn't choose to keep my kids home from school. Um, and so I'm trying to like also remember that, that that was um, a unique period. And if I wanted to return to that, I could, but I really don't want to. So I'm, I'm kind of managing a lot of different emotions. It's interesting. So it's almost time for kids to come home and my husband's just gone to go pick them up. Um, one of the things that I was afraid of, of going back to school, was the impact this would have on how close we've all become. Uh, there was only one brief period where we um, were able to get a babysitter to come and spend the night at the house and my husband and I just took a, like a weekend, like basically 48 hours off. But other than that, I really haven't been away from them for longer than, I don't know, maybe two hours, four hours max. <laughs> not, not even, to be honest. And so I was a little bit afraid of what that would do. Um, but I think that fear is a little bit like not rational. Um, my kids have been in school before and um, they did just fine and our relationships did just fine. But uh, but yeah, like that's definitely, that was definitely one of my fears was sending them back to school. It's just been so long of having them, having them home. So um, anyway, I'm eager to hear how their days were and um, how they're all doing. I'm really curious to get some feedback on how they felt about masks being on for the majority of the day and what it feels like to be back with their friends who they haven't really seen consistently for six months. Prior to COVID, when my kids were at school regularly, I always tried to have like a nice healthy snack when they came home. So today it is grapes and some meat, cheese and crackers and some blueberries. And I am gonna go make myself another coffee. They're coming, they're coming, Colleen, they're coming. Happy to see you. Come, let's go inside for a snack. Okay, so don't forget what we do with stuff. Where do we put our shoes and our backpack? All at the back door. Back door, back door, back door. My daughter Evelyn and I are on a little walk, and I was asking Evelyn, Evelyn, 
Is it weird to be back at school, but have to be six feet apart from your friends? Uh, kinda, but it's good to be back at school. I was gonna say, but is it better than being at home? Like, is being back at school better, even um, though you have to be six feet apart? So, so. So, so. And how did it feel wearing masks for most of the day? Not good. Not good? But again, is it better to be at school? It's like I kept sneezing and it smelled bad. Oh no, it smelled bad? Yeah. <laughs> but was it worth it to go to school? Even yeah, though you had to wear it was worth it. Except my mask needs cleaning, but oh, it has no. so many beautiful things on. I know. And look at this. Look at this name I drew. Oh, you're so Isn't funny. It well, beautiful. if it does come out in the wash, then we can always dry it again, right? I know, but it's not so nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the end of the day. It's time to wash my face. It feels like I have lived so much life today um and i feel i don't know i feel all kinds of mixed feelings i'm grateful that the kids seem to have adjusted well to life in this strange covid world um i'm grateful that um it seems like the school is doing a um good job of you know keeping things peaceful and um oh gosh that's gross <laughs> that the school seems to be doing a great job of keeping everybody peaceful and giving people lots of breaks outside. Um, that was one thing I was very relieved to hear, that they were doing a lot of things outside and breaks from their masks. Um, I mean, I'm feeling overall um, happy with the decision that we made. And here's the thing, there's no certainty about anything in life. We simply have to make the best educated decision with the facts that we have available and then discern and pray <laughs> and then ultimately just act in accordance with what feels like the right plan for us and our unique family. And so I think whatever it is that anyone decides, it's got to be just at its heart, driven from a place of, um, this is what's gonna best serve um, my family and not really worry about anybody else. I think that's one of the hardest things too, because of course there's nothing like this. We can't really look to any studies or any examples or what have you. Everybody is doing this for the very first time and it's looking different for everybody everywhere. So I think, you know, I think the advice I wish I had I could give myself in this period is to really just trust your instincts and to be very comfortable with changing your mind even at the very last minute. Um, that has been what has been helping me quite a bit, knowing that, you know what, if I change my mind, even if they go for one day, a week, a month, um, I could change my mind. Life is a temporary assignment. Life is a temporary assignment. <laughs> We only um, can be confident about, you know, so many things. For me, of course, big decisions are always influenced by the context of my Catholic faith and how to trust God when there are hard things. So if you're curious about how to trust God, even when things make zero sense, um, I've made a playlist for you, which I will link for you right up here. And I will see you on the other side.